Okay, now that we've talked about <clears throat> basic call operation, uh, I'll give you a general overview of how we read and call ducks, okay? Keep one thing in mind. As the ducks approach you, you blowing your duck call is, is uh, kind of a waste of time. What I mean by that, as a duck is approaching you, no matter what sound you're going to do, it's making, going to make him fly faster to you. All right. So, I think some of the best duck callers I've ever hunted with and seen, as far as actually working ducks, are people that know how to understand and read ducks. And so, as the ducks are approaching us, we'll always have our calls to our mouth. We're just kind of watching, and as they approach, as long as they approach and they're locking up, doing everything we we want them to do. There's no reason to call, okay? This call is just a tool. It's not a magical tool. Uh, it's just a tool to get the ducks to land exactly in the spot that you're looking for in your decoy spread. So we're watching the ducks, and if they vary any, if they're coming towards us and they go to fly off or veer away from us, that's when we, okay? Just hit them with a greeting call. I'm looking for a couple things. I'm looking for wing beats. If they're flying along good and, and, and they move or stutter or the head, like old Drake Mallard's flying by and he's flying along and his head cranes or looks back and forth a little bit. He seems confused whatsoever. Just a little bit of confusion or is indecisive on what he wants to do, either land or move on. That's when timing is crucial. Have that old duck call to your mouth. And as soon as they're flying by, if he moves at all, <laughs> Just hitting with a three to five, six, seven note greeting call, and a lot of times they'll just lock up, come right into you. 